For the past year, I lived like a real biohacker and to track my progress, I tried every common way to test your blood out there. From your local GP to premium longevity clinics, direct to consumer labs or innovative startups, I tried them all and I have found the best one. So today, I will reveal my ultimate guide to blood testing that will save you time, money and effort. And in the end, I'll share my past year's results from the plus 50 blood markers that I tracked throughout my $10,000 blueprint challenge. For those of you that don't know, that's the challenge where I tried to edge slower than Brian Johnson. So stay tuned to find out which blood testing method came out on top. And a quick note here, while the tests were all in Germany, the insights that I share in this video apply globally. And if you're looking for Germany specific details like prices or recommendations, check out the guide link below. Now the four different blood testing methods I tried, I rated in a couple of different categories like scope of tests, convenience, cost, the billing process and the result presentation. Let's break it down. Now first up was the traditional route, your local GP's office. GP stands for general practitioner or in Germany we call them Hausarzt. This can be the most cost effective option because some tests are covered by insurance, especially if you have your GP on your side. And here's a reason to argue towards the insurance why they need to cover it. But my experience at least left much to be desired. I had to pay the doctor multiple visits to get my blood drawn for all the tests that I wanted. I had quite a few discussions. They had a limited scope of tests as well that I could choose from. The billing was a mess. I got like 15 <laughs> different invoices and you need to know what you want. They don't consult you very well there for longevity. This is what I got as a result, a sheet of paper. I needed to spend quite some time for digging deep into this as a beginner back then, which was a good exercise. But I asked them for a digital copy and believe it or not, they didn't want to send it to me because of email overhead. What? <laughs> okay, doesn't mean that there are no good GPs out there. And if you're lucky with your GP and he knows all about proactive medicine and longevity because he's just a great doctor, then lucky you. This this might be a very cost-effective option. For my next blood test, I was looking to <laughs> enhance my experience a bit and that's why I went all the way to Hamburg to the first practice for proactive medicine within Germany, Ava Medical. And let me tell you, the experience there was top-notch. But as you might expect, it also came at a hefty price tag. I made a whole separate video about my visit to Ava Medical, so feel free to check that out if you're curious. Now on the pro side, the list is pretty long. Actually, as per insights, my visit there was the most insightful one. And they asked me to test markers that I wouldn't have tested before, because let's be honest, I was a total beginner and still pretty clueless about what markers to test and the visit there helped me to get educated on which things are important to look out for. And I discovered one really essential thing that is my elevated lipoprotein A levels, which I never would have tested otherwise. With that, I have much higher risk to get cardiovascular disease. Then the service there at my visit was just excellent. I was greeted. I was the only person in the practice. I had no waiting time. They took extensive time to run me through an amnesis, really look out for what I was looking for in my health journey and so on. Now, on the con side, of course, such a premium treatment comes at a hefty price tag, as I mentioned before. That said, the blood tests itself were not specifically overly expensive, it was just more comprehensive. In Germany, we have a certain regulation how much blood work can cost. But the service on top of that, of course, costs you money. Also, there were some billing complications again, which was not Ava's fault, but the lab's fault because they billed me twice at some points and can get a bit messy here if there's multiple labs involved on analyzing your blood tests. So after this amazing experience at Ava, I also wanted to find a method that's closer to where I live and where I can do blood tests efficiently. And that's why I stumbled upon direct-to-consumer labs like SynLab or in my case, I used MindDirectLabor. Now, this method really gives you a good balance between convenience and customization. On the pro side, the service is pretty good and very easy. It takes like 15, 20 minutes to get in and out and then you already have your blood drawn 
and the tests will come to your app within a couple of days. They have a huge range of tests available. The booking was quite easy and straightforward and plenty of slots available, even short term. And the billing was straightforward. I could pay everything on site and there were no bills that chased after me from different labs, luckily. <laughs> first time. On the con side, obviously if you book all your tests on your own, you need to know what you want to get. And this can make it a little bit harder if you're a beginner. And then, of course, it's all self-paid. Although the prices were fair. And you can even talk to a doctor there if you pay on top. So after trying out all different kinds of blood tests with different doctors and clinics throughout my Blueprint Challenge, I now have found a startup which is called Aware and they offer an innovative form of blood test which is all in, delivered in an app and super convenient apparently. So we're gonna try that out today just for transparency. They agreed to pay for a part of my blood test costs. So let's go. When we arrived, we just had like a two minute wait time and we have done after another five minutes, the both of us. and could even pick out a very cute little plaster to round it off. <laughs> On the pro side, this by far was the most convenient option for blood testing for Victoria and myself. You can easily book your appointment within the app for even within the same week. They have locations where you can get tested all across Germany and even abroad and there's supposedly more to come within Europe. Aware offers a membership plan where you have the option to get between one to four blood draws a year with decreasing prices. So basically, if you get the largest package of four blood draws per year, then you pay only about 80 euros per blood draw. And for that, you get 44 health markers that are pretty comprehensive. And to be honest, that's a pretty good value for your money. Victoria and me also used the option to get additional markers tested, which come in packages such as female or male health and then test for hormones and things like that. So overall, we both tested around about 65 markers each. All of their packages are quite comprehensive and good value for money. The only thing that I would suggest as an improvement is that they would allow for a couple more single markers to be added on top because that is simply not possible at the moment. But that's just a very minor detail because to be honest, the packages if you get all of them like we did, are already very comprehensive. Quite astonishingly, I already got my results the day after getting tested and the app makes it really easy to understand where your results are at and what you can do to improve them. Like for example, eating different foods to move this or that marker. The only feature that I would love to see in the app is a possibility to import my old blood test results so I can compare them against the ones that I got now. So, it comes as no surprise that Aware emerges as the clear winner for blood testing, scoring 22 out of a possible 25 points. It's simply the most convenient, cost-effective and user-friendly option. Now, if you wonder which blood markers you should get tested and you want to dive deeper on all my testing methods for the different providers, then feel free to check out my ultimate guide to blood testing linked in the description below. It offers many more insights on costs, locations you can get tested, and most important of all, a list of the markers that I think are most essential to get tested. As for my part, I'm definitely going to keep using Aware for blood testing. And if you want to give them a try, they have been so kind to offer you a 20% discount if you use the code MARIUS20 during checkout. Now, let's talk results. While I won't dive deep into all of the different markers that I tested, because that would go beyond the scope of this video, I will blend them in here quickly. So feel free to pause and I'll also share them on my website blueprint.fountain-of-youth.com. However, let me share three major highlights of developments of the past year. So first of all, I'm really happy to say that I got my blood glucose levels under control. I was showing a little bit insulin resistance earlier in the year and through reducing my carb intake as well as learning through a CGM, I now managed to get that back to normal levels as my HbA1c as well as my sober insulin show. And then, as previously mentioned, I found out that I had an elevated lipoprotein A, but I managed to maintain close to optimal cardiovascular markers, except for one, which is now in a downward trend, and that's HDL. So I'll be monitoring that going forward, 
and let's see if we can bring that up again. One thing I am improving on but which is not optimal yet is my free testosterone levels. This is basically due to elevated SHGB which is pretty high and I haven't been able to bring that down so far. So my plan now is to start supplementing with 10 milligrams of boron and let's see if we can bring it down. Overall I can say my year of biohacking has really paid off. I learned a ton but you might wonder how does it compare to Brian Johnson? And we'll leave that for another video, but if you're very curious, then feel free to check out my website because it already has the details. See you next time. Thank you for watching.